The World Health Organization says it's happening right now. Antibiotic resistance is growing all over the world, in rich and poor countries alike. Common diseases which have for decades been treatable with antibiotics are developing ever stronger resistance. The main bacteria which cause things like diarrhea, pneumonia, urinary tract infections and gonorrhea are all becoming more difficult to treat. The widespread prescription of antibiotics started in the 1940s and it revolutionized medicine. Diseases which for centuries had killed millions of people were suddenly treatable. But in recent years, we've all taken too many antibiotics too often. And that's allowed bacteria to develop resistance. What the world needs now are new drugs to deal with this emerging crisis. But no new antibiotics are being produced. It's an expensive and risky investment for the big drug companies. We've had resistance over many, many decades. And there's a harsh biological truth in all of this. The more you intensify the selective pressure on an organism, such as antibiotics, the more quickly will emerge resistance. That's the fundamental principle of natural selection. So we can't get away from that. We have to just live with it. And that means we have to sensibly manage what we have and we have to intensify our search for new products. The World Health Organization says the following needs to happen now. Antibiotics should only be given when absolutely necessary. More should be done to prevent people getting ill in the first place, and governments and industry need to do more to develop new drugs. The report is the most comprehensive study into this growing problem. It conjures the possibility of a future in which minor infections could once more become life-threatening, and an era in which medicine for the first time takes a huge leap backwards. Simon McGregor Wood, Al Jazeera, London.